As you enter into prayer, prepare yourself for a spiritual battle against the forces of darkness that seek to hinder your progress and obstruct your path to breakthrough. By drawing strength and inspiration from the empowering words of Psalm 112, let's embark on a journey of faith and warfare in the name of Jesus, trusting in the strength and victory that comes from aligning yourself with the purposes and promises of God. Psalm 112 serves as a powerful declaration of the blessings and the favor that accompany those who fear the Lord and delight in His commandments. As you meditate on its verses, remind yourself of the steadfastness and provision of your Heavenly Father who lavishes His blessings upon those who walk in obedience and righteousness. In the face of spiritual opposition and adversity, find courage and confidence in the assurance that God is faithful to fulfill His promises to His children. In this prayer for spiritual warfare, for breakthrough, confront the spiritual forces that seek to hinder your progress and limit your potential with unwavering faith and determination. Refuse to be intimidated or discouraged by the schemes of the enemy, knowing that the battle belongs to the Lord and victory is assured for those who put their trust in Him. With a heart fortified by the truth of God's word, stand firm in your identity as a beloved child of the Most High, clothed in the armor of righteousness and equipped with the weapons of spiritual warfare. As you lift your voice in prayer, release the power of authority of God's word to break every chain of bondage and tear down every stronghold of the enemy. Declare the victory of Christ over every Every obstacle and challenge that stands in the way of your breakthrough, knowing that nothing is impossible for those who believe. May your prayers be like arrows piercing through the darkness and bringing forth light, freedom, and breakthrough in every area of your life. With these in mind, come let us enter boldly before God and receive our answers. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I uplift my voice to you in prayer, believing in your mighty power to bring breakthrough and victory in every area of my life. As I meditate on Psalm 112, may its words become a powerful weapon in your spiritual warfare. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. I therefore declare your reverence and awe for the Lord, knowing that he is your strength and refuge. May your heart be filled with joy as you delight in his word and follow his commandments. Your offspring will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed, says the Lord of hosts. In verse 2, I claim this promise of generational blessings and prosperity for your family and loved ones. May your descendants walk in righteousness and experience the favor of the Lord in all their endeavors. In Jesus' name, they shall not be small in life in Jesus name wealth and riches are in his house and his righteousness endures forever I pray that God's blessings of abundance and prosperity are upon you may your life be a testimony to his faithfulness and goodness and may his righteousness shine through you for all to see Light dawn in the darkness for the upright. He is gracious, merciful, and righteous. I declare victory over the darkness that seeks to overshadow your life. May the light of God's truth and grace illuminate your path, guiding you in righteousness and truth in Jesus' name. Verse 5 says, It is well with a man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. I pray that you will commit yourself to a life of generosity, compassion, and integrity. 
May your actions reflect the character of Christ, bringing healing and restoration to those around you. May you be steadfast and immovable, anchored in his promises and confident in his faithfulness. I reject fear and doubt, knowing that God is in control of every situation. May your heart be filled with unwavering faith and trust in God's unfailing love and provision. May you believe in the victory that God has already won on your behalf. May you rise above every obstacle and challenge, knowing that the Lord fights for you and gives you the victory. May you stand firm against the schemes of the enemy, knowing that his plans will ultimately fail. May you walk in victory and freedom, knowing that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens you. Heavenly Father, we clothe ourselves in the armor of your righteousness, ready to engage in spiritual battle for breakthrough and victory. As we meditate on Psalm 112, may its words ignite a fire within our souls, empowering us to stand firm against the schemes of the enemy and claim the promises of your word. May you trust in God's unfailing love and power to lead you to victory in every battle you face. The Lord is your strength and your shield, your stronghold in times of trouble. I thank the Lord for blessing you because I fear you and delight in God's commandments. May the Lord help you to continue walking in obedience to his word, knowing that his blessings are poured out upon those who honor him with their lives. I declare that your descendants are mighty in the land and the generation of the upright is blessed as promised in verse 2. I pray for God's continued favor and blessings upon your family that they may walk in victory and experience God's breakthrough and mercy all the days of their lives. In verse 3, I thank the Lord for he has bestowed riches and abundance upon you. I pray that you will have abundance and breakthrough in every area of your life, that you need abundance. I speak forth abundance into it in the name of Jesus. You are rich and your wealth shall be used to bless others in Jesus name. May the Lord help you to discern good from evil and walk in his ways all the days of your life. May the Lord strengthen you to stand firm in your faith, knowing that God is your rock and your fortress, your deliverer in whom you take refuge. I proclaim that you are not afraid of bad news. Your heart is steadfast, trusting in God as declared in verse 7. May the Lord help you to trust in God and faith in love and to remain steadfast in his faith, even in the midst of trials and tribulations. I thank the Lord for his promise in verse 8, for giving you a steady and unwavering heart that you may not be afraid and look in triumph over your adversaries. May the Lord empower you to overcome every obstacle and to walk in victory, knowing that God is with you every step of the way. Declare this with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for your faithfulness and goodness and for the breakthrough and victory that you have already prepared for all who have prayed and agreed in it. As they continue to stand in faith, and declare your word over their lives. I know that you will make a way where there seems to be no way. With a heart fortified by the truth of God's word, stand firm in your identity as a beloved child of the Most High, clothed in the armor of righteousness and equipped with the sword of the Spirit. So, as you lift your voice in prayer, remember that you do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in the heavenly realms. With each petition, release the authority of Christ to bind and break every chain of bondage, casting down every stronghold and bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Together, march forward in the victory that is already yours, declaring the triumph of God's kingdom over the forces of darkness. As you pray, May your heart be filled with boldness and your spirit be infused with the power of the Holy Spirit as you advance the cause of Christ and establish his reign of righteousness and peace in your life 
and in the world around you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I lift my voice to you knowing that you are mighty God who reigns supreme over all creation. I stand before your throne of grace, clothed in the armor of your righteousness, in Jesus, ready to engage in spiritual warfare against the forces of darkness that seek to ensnare and destroy. I declare that may the power of the Lord come against them in the name of Jesus. I declare over everyone in need of this prayer that God is your refuge and your fortress, your God in whom you trust. May you take shelter under the shadow of God's wings knowing that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. May the Lord protect you from every attack of the enemy and shield you from the fiery darts of the wicked one. I thank the Lord for the authority he has given you to trample on serpents and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. I take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and I wield it against every demonic force that seeks to hinder your progress and steal your peace. I pray against every spirit of witchcraft, occult practices, and marine spirits that operate in the darkness, seeking to deceive and destroy you. I bind and rebuke every demonic influence and assignment against your life, your family, and your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you, beloved, that every curse, hex, spell, and incantation spoken against you is null and void. For no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I break every chain and every stronghold that the enemy has erected in your life. And I command every demonic spirit to flee from your presence in Jesus' name. I pray for God's divine protection and deliverance from the snares of the enemy. May the Lord surround you with his edge of protection and cover you with his precious blood that no harm may befall you. May the Lord keep you safe from every evil plot and every evil intention of the enemy. I thank the Lord for his faithfulness and his unfailing love. Even in the midst of the storm, may you trust in God, for God is your rock and your fortress, your deliverer, in whom you take refuge. May the Lord help you to walk in faith and victory, knowing that he is with you always. I pray for you who is ensnared by the power of darkness deceived by the lies of the enemy. I ask that God will open your eyes to see the truth and that God will set you free from every bondage and oppression and bring you into his light of salvation that they may experience the freedom and abundant life that God has to offer. I commit you into God's hands, trusting in God's goodness and mercy. May God's will be done in your life and as I stand on these promises and declares words over your life, I know that God will fight your battles and give you victory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, I come before God's throne of grace with humility and reverence, seeking His divine protection and deliverance from the snares of the enemy. As you meditate on the words of Psalm 109, may its potent declarations of righteousness and justice serve as a shield against the attacks of the adversary. Do not remain silent. Do not turn a deaf ear to your cry for help. For wicked and deceitful mouths are open against you, speaking against you with lying tongues. According to verses 1 to 2, I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to bring harm and destruction through wicked schemes of witchcraft, occult rituals, and the influence of marine spirits. I cry out to God for your deliverance from their deceptive and malevolent intentions. They surround you with words of hatred and attack you without cause. In return for your friendship, they accuse you, but you are a person of prayer, as stated in verse 3 to 4. May you stand firm in your commitment to God, knowing that you are covered by the shield of His righteousness and protected by the power of His name. Though the forces of darkness may assail you with their lies and accusations, may you take refuge in the assurance of God's unfailing love and faithfulness. 
I call upon God to arise on your behalf and to thwart the plans of those who seek to harm you through witchcraft, occult practices and the influence of marine spirits in Jesus' name. May the Lord expose their wickedness and bring to light their hidden schemes that they may be held accountable for their actions. I pray for divine justice to be executed upon those who engage in witchcraft, occult rituals and the worship of marine spirits. May their plans be forced frustrated, their influence diminished, and their power broken. Let God's righteousness prevail and let his truth shine forth like a noonday sun, as promised in verse 8 to 10. May his days be few, may another take his place of leadership. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children be wandering beggars, may they be driven from their ruined homes. I pray that God will severe the ties of generational bondage and spiritual oppression that have plagued your family line. Break every curse, every hex, every spell that has been cast against you and set you free from the grip of the enemy. May you place your trust in God, knowing that he is your refuge and your fortress, your deliverer in whom you take refuge. By the power of his name and the authority of his word, I declare victory over every attack attack of the enemy and freedom from every form of spiritual bondage. I pray God's justice prevail in the midst of adversity and opposition. May the Lord turn the tables of the enemy and cast their plans to backfire upon them. Let God's light shine in the darkness, exposing the deeds of the wicked and bringing them to naught. Psalm 109 verse 27 says, Let them know that it is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. May you rejoice in God's faithfulness and his unfailing love. Rejoice in his victory and his deliverance, knowing that he is always with you, fighting on your behalf. With your mouth, proclaim God's righteousness and his praises all the days of your life. As written in Psalm 109 verses 30 to 31, May those who delight in your vindication shout for joy and and gladness. May they always say, The Lord be exalted, who delights in the well being of his servant. Your tongue will proclaim God's righteousness, his praises all day long. Heavenly Father, thank you for hearing our prayer, and may the promises of God deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Trust in his unfailing love and mighty power to overcome every obstacle and to bring victory in every battle. You, with confidence and gratitude, I stand on the revelation in Psalm 18 verse 31, acknowledging that there is no God beside the Lord and no rock like our God. As your people commit to living blamelessly before you and pray that your faithfulness upholds and guides them along the path of righteousness, may you reveal yourself to them, illuminating their way with your purity. I speak over you under the sound of my voice that ends forth in dealing with cunning adversaries God's wisdom and discernment rest upon you to navigate their deceitful schemes I pray that you maintain a pure heart before the Lord which allows you to fully experience his presence may the Lord exalt you above your adversaries and save you even as you remain humble and contrite in spirit let those who are proud and arrogant be humbled by the Lord as stated in verse 27. I pray that you will continue to walk in humility, relying on the strength and grace of the Lord. I also pray for you that only in his strength will you rely on. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord sustain your flame even in the darkest of times. As mentioned in verse 28, I declare that every darkness in your life transforms to light. May the radiance of the Lord shine brightly within you. According to verse 29, and with the Lord's help, you advance against any challenge and overcome obstacles in the name of Jesus. I affirm that from today, you conquer any obstacle and confront any challenge with the Lord by 
by your side. May he strengthen and embolden you to move forward against the enemy with confidence and courage. As written in verse 30, the Lord shields all who seek refuge in him. I pray that you find refuge in him, trusting that he will shield and safeguard you. I pray that you will walk with a consciousness that the Lord is the source of your strength and the guardian of your path. As verse 32 says, it is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. May the Lord empower you with his might and ensure your safety in his care. In Jesus' name, verse 33 says, he makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. Therefore, I declare that you walk confidently, knowing that the Lord accompanies you every step of the way. May the Lord enable you to navigate life's challenges with agility and grace. I affirm that you stand firmly upon the promises of the Lord, where victory is assured and his name is praised in Jesus' name. As his word proclaims in verse 34, he trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. May he prepare you for the spiritual battles you encounter daily in Jesus' name. May he equip you with strength and skill to wield the weapons of righteousness effectively. I pray that he becomes your saving help and shield in times of trouble, sustaining and lifting you up with his right hand in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, according to Psalm 18, verse 35, you make your saving help my shield, and your right hand sustains me. Your help has made me great. I declare over you, my beloved, that the Lord's intervention in your life will lead to greatness in Jesus' name. I also affirm that he exalts you in the presence of your enemies, just as verse 36 states, you provide a broad path for my fit so that my ankles do not give way. I pray that the Lord smoothens the path before you, creating avenues where none seemed possible. I declare that your steps are firm and unwavering. May the Lord prevent your feet from stumbling or faltering. As I stand on verses 37 and 38, which says, I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. May the Lord pave the way before you, creating paths where they appeared to be none in Jesus' name. Your steps shall remain firm and unwavering as the Lord guards your feet from stumbling or faltering in Jesus' name. As you enter into any battle, the enemy brings your way. You are granted victory over your adversaries in Jesus' name. May you pursue them relentlessly until they are vanquished. With the power of God vested in you, I pray that you conquer them, reducing them to nothing. I affirm that the power of God is evident in your life as you stand victorious over every adversary that rises against you. In Jesus' name, I declare Psalm 18 verse 39 over you. You armed me with a strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. From now onward, your adversaries are humbled and they bow before the mighty hand of the Lord in your life in Jesus name I declare that at the command of the Lord your enemies flee in terror and you are victorious over them verse 40 says you made my enemies turn their backs in flight and I destroyed my foes May the glory of the Lord be revealed as you triumph over every obstacle and adversity in your path. And when your enemies cry out, their pleas remain on head as they have rejected the ways of the Lord and defiled his commands. I declare that the cries for help goes on answers as they rip the consequences of their rebellion in Jesus' name. I also pray that your adversaries are scattered like chaff before the wind. May you trample them on the foot like mud in the streets. Verse 42 proclaims, 
I beat them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trample them like mud in the streets. So shall justice prevail as your oppressors are crushed and you are vindicated in Jesus' name. I stand in agreement with you and declare that from now henceforth, may you feel the comforting embrace of the divine shepherd who leads you beside peaceful streams and restores your soul. In the midst of life's uncertainties and the shadow of fear may you find solace in the guiding light of God's love which banishes all darkness and brings forth hope in Jesus name I declare that the Lord is your refuge and strength your ever-present help in times of trouble as you journey through the valleys of life may his presence be a constant companion shielding you from harm and guiding you to safety May he protect you from all forms of dangers, seen and unseen, and shield you from the arrows of adversity that seeks to pierce your spirit in Jesus' name. I shield you from the grip of untimely death that lurks in the shadows. May the Lord guard your footsteps from the snares of the enemy and preserve them from harm's way. Let the angels of the Lord encamp around you, standing as vigilant guardians against every threat to your well-being. May your faith be immovable, anchored in the promises of God's word. May the Lord grant you the strength to trust in his divine plan, even when the path ahead seems fraught with peril. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord fill your heart with courage and fortitude, knowing that God is with you always, guiding your steps and lifting your burdens. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over the threat of untimely death against your life or the lives of your loved ones, knowing that God is a faithful shepherd who guides you through every trial and danger. I rebuke the spirit of death and destruction, declaring that it has no power over you because you no longer live on your own. By the authority of Jesus' name, I command every threat to your life to be dispelled, every plan of the enemy to be thwarted. I declare God's sovereignty over every aspect of your life. God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and nothing is beyond His control. As I surrender your life into God's hands, I proclaim victory over every scheme of the enemy to bring untimely death over you in Jesus' name, and I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. May the Lord lead you in the paths of righteousness, and let His goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. May you dwell in the house of the Lord forever, basking in the warmth of God's love and the assurance of God's eternal presence. In times of uncertainty, confusion and fear, may you find strength in the assurance of God's unfailing love. May the Lord grant you peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May the light of God shine brightly in the darkness, illuminating the path before you and guiding you safely away from any form of premature death. I declare that the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. He guides you through the valleys and shadows of life, shielding you from harm and providing for your every need. In his loving care, may you find comfort and assurance, knowing that he is always by your side he makes you lie down in green pastures. He leads you beside still waters. In his presence, I pray you find peace and restoration. As you rest in the tranquility of his embrace, may your heart be filled with calmness and serenity. He restores your soul. He leads you in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. His grace is your refuge. In times of trial and tribulation, he renews your spirit and guides you along the path of righteousness in Jesus' name. May you walk in his ways, seeking truth and justice in all that you do. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for he is with you, his rod and his tough, they comfort you. In the face of danger and desperation, may you find courage in his presence as his protection surrounds you like a shield, comforting you in times of trouble. It is written, he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He anoints your head with oil, your cup overflows. His blessings abound. Therefore, I declare that even in the midst of adversity, 
May the Lord lavish you with abundance, filling your heart with gratitude and joy. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord. His goodness and mercy are your constant companions. As you journey through life, may you never stray from his side, but instead dwell in the warmth of his love for all eternity in Jesus' name. He will continue to be your refuge and your strength, your ever-present help in times of trouble. May the Lord surround you with his divine protection, shielding you from harm and danger. May he watch over you as you go about your daily life, guarding you from accidents and all forms of harm. May the Lord grant you wisdom and discernment to make wise choices and avoid situations that may put your life at risk. Guide your steps and lead you along paths of safety and security. I rebuke the spirit of death and destruction, declaring that it has no power over you. By the authority of his name, you command every threat to your life to be dispelled, every plan of the enemy to be thwarted. Receive God's peace, knowing that he is in control of your life. May he help you to trust in his perfect timing and to rest in the assurance of his love and protection. May his angels watch over you day and night, keeping you safe from all harm. And I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus as you remain sealed with his Holy Spirit. I commit your life into his hands, knowing that he is faithful to keep you safe. Lord, we thank you for your constant care and provision and for the promise of eternal life with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.